Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, sorry, I've been a bit uh, AWOL the last couple of days. I haven't actually been doing any videos. I know I didn't do one yesterday. Uh, got one over the weekend. Um, the reason for that is I have been absolutely flat out. Uh, so I started my new job yesterday. Um, got to say, absolutely loving it to start with. I know it's only day one. Um, people are all amazing. The company's amazing. Um, going to learn a lot of new skills, a lot of new stuff, which is I'm really excited about. Uh, developing myself is always something I, I enjoy doing. Um, really, really looking forward to it. Um, as I said, everyone's absolutely amazing. Um, the job is going to teach me a lot of new skills, a lot of new experiences, uh, and get a lot more knowledge in a whole bunch of different areas, which I'm, I'm really, really excited for. It's uh, learning and, and learning new skills and learning new... Um, uh, developing myself is something that I, I take a lot of joy and a lot of pride in. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a, a great uh, a great place to, to work and to grow. Um, so yeah, more to come on that. Um, not uh, including names of company uh, for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, you know I'm working somewhere. That's all you need to know. Um, in terms of everything else going on, uh, it's been a little bit hectic trying to keep up with photo editing and stuff like that. It feels like I'm out at Eastern Creek every yeah, twice a week at the moment. Um, I have got a week's break. I think there's another one in like... Oh, this weekend, beat the Blues out of this weekend, so I'm not really covering the event as such. Um, but I'll take cameras, obviously, uh, go and get a bunch of photos. It'll be a bunch of fun. There's a bunch of the uh, those DC guys that are going to be out there. Uh, it's a show and shine thing on as well as part of it, so uh, going to you know, go on get some photos and get some videos of the cars and stuff like that, put a few videos together. Um, uh, obviously get uh, photos of the those DC guys that I know out there as well, catch them out there racing around with the Highway Patrol cars. Uh, so for those that don't know, beat the Blues or Beat the Blue, is um, it's an event run by uh, the police here in New South Wales. Uh, it's like their community outreach, pro or part of their community outreach kind of stuff. Uh, so essentially, you can register uh, as a driver, you get out there and you actually get to race the uh, the highway patrol cars around the wet pan circuit uh, on uh, on Eastern Creek. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, it's something very different. They do like a whole show and shine, and they do like they make this massive event out of it. They've got a bunch of stuff. Um, free entry for spectators, which is amazing. Um, so I'm going to take uh, Tyg and Rishar. We're all going to go out and have a look and, and check it all out. I think Tyg loves getting and watch the cars, so it's just hard to take him out to some of the bigger events just because, well, I'm out there by myself. Well, I'm out there with the other two. The other two essentially knock off and go and jump into cars and stuff, so it's kind of hard to look after Tyg and take videos and photos and stuff uh, and get to the right locations safely with him. Uh, by myself, so no problems with him, no chance. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting him out there. He'll have an absolute blast out there, I know. Um, but yeah, photos, videos, I'm catching up on everything. Um, having to catch up on all my editing and stuff like that as well, because I want to get all the stuff out for, for Alias Freeze Reveal for the new livery. Uh, and obviously sponsorship photos, sponsorship videos and stuff like that as well. Um, so that stuff's all getting put together now as well. Now I'm hoping to get uh, a draft out, or a couple of drafts out to him tonight. I'm going to have a look at uh, and go through. Um, yeah. Really exciting. It's uh, certainly been a, a big week. Uh, certainly going to be a big week. I think Tuesday. There's a long way to go yet. Um, yeah, normal kind of normal hours this week, eight to four. Uh, I'm working most of the week, and the next week I start going to six to three. Uh, sort of the next three weeks after that, my first four weeks are kind of a little bit different. Um, just while they're doing a lot of training and induction and stuff, and then week five I go to my actual normal, um, my normal roster, uh, which will be a, a five to two. And then I won't be doing these videos in the morning. Uh, I'll be doing them at night. Um, it'll be a five to two, nine day fortnight, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to get uh, uh, Wednesday and Thursday every week off, uh, or every second week, sorry. Uh, so week one, I work a five day week. Week two, I work a four day week, which includes Saturday. Uh, but it does mean I get uh, the Wednesday, Thursday off uh, during the week, which would be nice. Uh, then we're just going to spend some more time together. Uh, I can do some stuff on here. We can go out and do things ourselves. Uh, I can get stuff done around the house, which would be kind of cool. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's slightly different, uh, but the times work really well for, for me and my family life. So even the days that I'm working, I'm finished at two, so I'm home for the boys in the afternoon. Um, it's really, it's not not going to be a massive impact on my family life. Uh, even you know, Saturdays, I finish at two o'clock. Um, I can get to the majority of the baseball games by 2.45. There's a few that, you know, a little bit further out Penrith Way, Chapman Gardens, that sort of stuff, but... Even those, I finish at two o'clock. I leave. I'll get there, you know, on game time. Um, so I'm not really going to be missing out on on anything. Um, it works amazingly well for my family life. 
um, which I'm really, really excited for. I think that's going to be that's going to be a massive change. Um, it's going to let me get back into my fitness, which I'm really, really excited about. I can't wait. Um, going back to the, or I'm going to actually start trying to do it in the afternoons now. Um, obviously this week, maybe not, while the body's getting used to the new, the extra steps and the steel caps again and all that sort of stuff, because that's where steel caps now and working in a warehouse. Um, so while the body's getting used to that, maybe not the fitness this week, uh, but definitely, definitely going to try and get into something. Um, yeah, even working eight to four, uh, I can start really, um, well, this week's eight to four, I said next week six to two. So um, even next week, I'll start getting into back into my fitness and back into my routine, which would be amazing, um, and actually start getting back into shape mentally and physically. Um, I think the hours are going to work really well for me mentally. Um, I think it's going to be a really good break for me. Uh, I'm going to, I think it's, I, I can leave, the, the beauty of this job is I can leave and I can just switch off. That's it. Like I don't, I don't have to think about after hours. I don't have to think about anything. I'll literally just switch off and leave, um, which is freaking amazing. I think that's, that's going to be a massive, massive, massive thing for me. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, that was one of the big deciding factors for me. Uh, for making the change and actually coming over to this new job was the the mental health side of things. Uh, I think it's it's going to be yeah a really good break. Obviously, have your good days and your bad days at work, but I can leave work and I can switch off even on a bad day. Um, I literally leave, switch off. That's it. I don't think about it till tomorrow. Um, and I think that's that's going to be a massive change for me. Uh, I haven't been able to do it for like four or five years, and I've noticed that's it's played on my mental health. Um, so being able to do that, I think, is going to be is huge. That's that's going to be a really, really, really big part for me. Um, then obviously working on my physical health, that's also going to have a flow-on effect of my mental health as well and help that. Um, so I'm really, really excited. I think it's going to be um, it's going to be big and positive change for myself and my family. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys tag along. And I'm going to try and keep you updated as much as possible. Um, keep you guys kind of involved in the, the growth and the journey that I'm going through and yeah, go from there. So until tomorrow, guys. Take it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.